Nobles, welcome to a special video. Today I'm going to be looking at what's on my phone. And you guys can see what's on my phone as well. And um, I have quite a bit of stuff on my phone. If you guys want to see, I've got my calendar, which I never use. This is the default calendar for Apple. <laughs> and the clock, default clock by Apple. I have all the deep, I have most of the default stuff. A lot of the default stuff by Apple, I deleted and I downloaded separate apps for it. But I've, also, I've got this history pointer and this history pointer is a really cool app. So what it will do is it will it will find historic places in your city or your your state or your country or whatever and it hasn't been working lately but that's what it does and you can locate them and go visit them and it has a big map of them kind of like google maps but for historic sites in your area i've got the default map and I've got a lot of productivity stuff on here. Evernote, Google Keep, I've got Pocket, I've got MindMeister, I've got Drive, Google Drive. I have Foxit PDF. I have Scanbot, I have Lucidchart, I have Grammarly, which helps for spelling and grammar issues. It doesn't catch everything, but it catches a lot of stuff. Most of the stuff, I would say. And I've also got some remotes for my TV. And there's this app called App Advice Daily. And what we'll do is it will come out with a free app, free apps every day. Comes out with about three or four apps that you can um, look at and see if you wanna buy them. I remember I got um, this game called um, World of Goo, and it was free, and I found it through this app, which is really cool. You can discover tons of cool apps, like this app right here, Top Contact, is five bucks, but now it's free through this app. And it just has a, like daily free apps for you to look at. There's also, I've also got some Sony Mo and Google Docs right here. I've got the regular stocks app. And for my YouTube, I usually use YouTube Studio, which tells you all your subscribers and all the stats like watch time. How, and you can manage comments right through your phone. And I've also got YouTube and Social Blade, Social Blade Live Count, which shows me the live count of my YouTube channel, which is cool. I can see it go go up or down live. All right, the app TubeBuddy, of course. Gotta have TubeBuddy for YouTube. If you don't know what it is, you can just look it up. I've got Reddit, which is apparently the they claim it's the front page of the internet. I have Discord and I'm on some channels with some of my friends. Pinterest, I find the gaming room setups on Pinterest and like style stuff, like clothes and different things style. And right here are all my games. <laughs> I've got Clash of Clans on here. I have Pokemon Go. <laughs> uh, I still play that game. Yeah, yeah, I do. I got Minecraft, I have Steam, which is where I manage all my library and add to my wish list of games that I get notified or I can see dates when they come out, like Blair Witch. I react to the channel. You can view it right there in the info card. And I've got Magic Piano, which never opens. I have Geometry Dashes, 
still haven't beaten Geometry Dash, which is crazy. That's very hard to do. We've got PewDiePie Tuber Simulator. I have a Spirit Board. Just wanted to try out, uh, you know, you know what that is, right? Just wanted to try it out. It won't work on your phone, of course, but just downloaded it for fun. I downloaded B Factory, which is um, a game I saw in an ad. Mutility, which is basically a life counter for Magic the Gathering card game. And it's way easier to use than a dice or anything else. And you can roll a dice, see who goes first or whatever else. We've got Magic Duels, which is Magic the Gathering as well, but it's, it's um, digital. It's not physical cards. I have winning slots, which I never play. I have GBA for iOS, still looking for some ROMs for that, it's an emulator. And you can easily download emulators now with the new iOS. I've got Akinator, which is kind of like um, 20 questions kind of thing. You answer questions and it will guess what your thing is, like um, say you've got like Pokemon, like Pikachu. You can ask it question. It will ask you questions and you answer them, and then it will guess you're thinking of Pikachu. I've got Subway Surfers, which is a fun game to pass the time. I also have web browsers, Google, Safari, DuckDuckGo, Chrome. I've got VPN, of course. You gotta have your VPN. Got Locker, Browser, Notepad. I don't really use those, I just